Hello, everyone. My name is Jingma, a PhD candidate at the University of Virginia. This is a two-minute introduction of our recent paper in AI magazine about learning causality with graphs. Graphs are everywhere in our life, which have been extensively used for modeling many real-world systems with conductive units. Currently, there have been a lot of work in machine learning on graphs, such as node classification and link prediction in recommended systems and molecular studies. Most of this work addressed the tasks from a statistical perspective, like utilizing the correlations between node features, graph structure, and labels for classification. But beyond the statistical level, we may also want to understand causality, which is often considered as a significant component of human-level intelligence. For example, in a contact network where each node is an individual and each edge represents a physical contact, we are more interested in the causal effect of wearing face mask on reducing COVID-19 infection rather than the simple correlation between them. Causal inference is the process of investigating causality. In causal inference, the important problem is to estimate the causal effects of certain treatment on outcome. Usually, causal inference focuses on RID data, but we are more interested in causal inference on graphs. In this paper, we summarize the main categories of works of causal effect estimation graphs, including works which address the unique challenges of this task, like network interference, hidden confounders, and graph structured variables. And we also introduced the way that they leverage the uniqueness of graph information to facilitate causal inference. Beyond causal effect, we also introduce other causality involved algorithms on graphs regarding policy evaluation, fairness, explanation, and generalization. If you are interested in these topics, this paper has more details of each direction and corresponding algorithms. Thank you for listening, and please do not hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.